Hey there. Uh, we're looking at Xan playing Demo Man. Uh, I don't really know what's up with the Source TV. It kind of starts in the middle of the game. But it looks like it isn't too far in, so should be fine. I think this position as lobby is pretty good, but I also think if your mag was with you, uh, you could be spamming that soldier on the left and like Realistically, if he sees you over there with pipes, you know, he's not going to run into a trap and he can call the trap for the team. Like, he generally has a pretty good idea of where it is, so you could put some damage on him and slow them down a bit, maybe get a kill. Opportunity for a scout pushing top left. You don't want a pipe there. Like, once you set all those sticks down, you just put another one down, you basically have the entire ground covered, so it's almost a guaranteed hit. So you want to be pushing right now, since you have one. And you want to be going bats, pretty much the best play. So focusing the soldier is not a bad idea. Good crouch sticky there. A little bit sooner would have hit the mark. Okay, you didn't want to use here. Your team was not looking to use. Uh, you did exactly what I would have expected and hoped a player would do. Just peeking bats and trying to get the force on the mech, not committing. This is a good peek right here, but you don't want to, after you saw the sniper, probably should have not peeked again. Good damage on this, the uh, scout. The sniper, I guess, sorry. Still putting out some good damage. Uh, you want to shoot your sticky through the window there, because you know he's going to back up, so that's a pretty easy hit. Those are okay pipes. I feel like after the first two, just switch to stickies. Like, the first two were on point. The other ones, when you kind of broke line of sight, not so good. There's good damage coming in from you. Like, really good pressuring that demo, or that sniper. If your scouts were a bit quicker, you'd be gotten killed easily there. Uh, so going cafe, I think that is a mistake against the sniper. Like, you know the sight lines here, so you have to leave. This is a good jump. Well, I don't know, you should go off the wall. Uh, you gave him a bit of a shot there, because you jumped, like, jumped over the sticky. It's a pretty easy shot. I feel like choke is not the worst idea. You need to take the pack, there you go. I feel like up here, and when you're playing uh, deer, you almost have to have a trap, like on the uh, overhang, because it's so easy to get bombed. Uh, or even just soldier jump up there and just spam down at you, like it's so detrimental, you almost need like stickies up there or something. Or like maybe a scout like boss and basher is up to the first like plank in the ground. Like the huge plank, you know what I'm saying? Because like, you need something up there, but if nothing's up there, I would definitely put stickies up there because it's really abusable. This is probably a pretty good play. Like, I like the route you took here. And yeah, now you recognize you need to leave. You should be sticking behind you. Yeah, you could have killed that guy pretty easily. He's 107, like you definitely could have put him down low enough that he would have been able to jump you again. Uh, you had time to set up like four stickies there, or even just sticky jump away. Pretty much anything but you, what you did. You never want to turn around, especially as demo, because you always... You always want to be restricting movement as demo. So if someone's chasing you, like you have the tools to stop him pretty easily. So you want to be working on that. This is a good angle to shoot. I would be moving around a bit more though. Okay, so yeah, what you're doing here is good. Like, constantly moving around. So I kind of would have expected a quick push, so you're moving around a lot as they cap. You can kind of meet them and put some damage on them. But I think you guys recognize that they're cafe, perhaps. Uh, you definitely should have gotten a buff by now, and you don't want to peek those with pipes. Uh, like, you could have done a lot of damage to them with just stickies there. I think the pack just spawned, and you should have head, headed towards that before you got launched, but I don't really matter. It's still up, and you need to get it. Yeah, that sucks, but like, I don't know, like, if you had gone it earlier, like, really, their team should have taken that pack, and that would have changed the fight entirely. Like, if they took that pack, they probably aced you guys pretty cleanly. So that's why I mentioned you should have tried and picked it up. Because as a like you want to cycle a pack so that your opponent can't use it. Alert. 
So at this point, I think you're not going to get anything doing this, and you want to peak balcony. These pipes are garbage. No one's going to get hit by those. Like, the only time you're going to hit a medium range pipe, like I guarantee, uh, unless they're bad, is if you delay long enough so that like them predicting where your view model is aiming at and you can hit their dodge like that's the only way like people are going to pre-dodge your pipes so like mid-range like that and so on high ground they're they're very even harder to hit so just sticking there would have been better and this is kind of no hope basically a uh, good pipe good sticky good sticky yeah, that is exactly what you want to do, just cut them off. You should be pushing right now though. If people back out sewer, there's like almost nothing they can do. Your scout can just, like pushing up on the right, your scout watches sewer. You can be holding this right door, preventing them from getting in. Maybe even have a trap up and peek them a bit. While your scout defends main, and if they push main, you just turn around. It's not, not a problem. I feel like if your team was better at being around the mech, uh, you should have gotten the pill ball there, so your soldiers could, soldiers could get a buff. You never really want to be taking health from the medic. Okay, yeah. It's good that you're starting to hurt these guys, so they can't get it on the gun. Uh, it's very unfortunate that you're... Like, I would have just... Mm, your medic... Okay, you know what should have happened? Your medic should have rotated with you. I don't know how you live that long, like, <laughs> they really should have killed you, like, instantly. But, you know, that was good that you recognized that to uh, stop the gun from getting spammed there, you need to put damage on the left side. So this is a situation, especially with a gun, you should have been pushing up a lot earlier, just trying to get some damage. I feel like this lobby is very, very strong for just constantly pushing in and out of it. And just like like two out of ten times you're like fifth of the time you're gonna random ass pick, you know? Uh, like a team push. Uh, or even just a demo alone with a or a demo with a scout even. Like they're pretty strong class combinations. So now you need to do something big. I'd probably push water and try to find someone, because you will not win this if you don't get a kill immediately. Like, they have to be fucking super trash to lose this. So, I think it would have been reasonable to try and fight there. Yeah, uh... I feel like... Yeah, you definitely should have backed up earlier there. Not because, like, they... They used, but, like, because you could expect them to use there. Like, no medic's going to let anyone die of those traps. And just having it there, even if he knows that you're not looking at it, he's going to use over it. So you could have backed up there and rotated spawn, but it wouldn't have mattered. I don't know if this is the fastest way. I don't know, Dummy was... Whoever was demoing for Froyo uh, went dungeon and then to the lower left pack and then through choke but I don't know maybe this is the fastest way right now you're done I, I would almost go back and just get a health pack uh, like if their team was playing properly they would just bomb you I, I don't know as demo man you really need to know when to stop taking damage because like if you keep backing away from the stickies, like he was doing very well at damaging you at the beginning, you know he's gonna keep shooting at you if he's most demo man. Like a good demo man will stop shooting, but against most demo man, they'll s keep shooting at the guy they lit up. So even you just dodging and maybe charging for a bit longer is gonna win you those fights where you lose at the beginning a bit more easily. It's good they're checking shit. It's, I think this is bad. Your movement here. I would never, A, be jumping like that, because just randomly jumping is going to let you get popped up, or like launched away from your medic. Um, and you want to be very close to walls. Like just going out in the open there leaves you very vulnerable. 
to pretty much anything. If you're close to a wall, you can, you know, juke in front of it if you get if someone's trying to block you with projectiles or juke behind it against hit scan. Like just being in the center there is a big positioning error. Uh, yeah. I feel like you shouldn't be pushing in the last. Because, like, I don't know. Unless your team was calming really hard, like, naturally, instinctively, I would have assumed you were losing that fight hugely. And pushing in is a pretty big risk for a down man to take. Uh, it's just make sure you reload stickies. I don't know why you're taking the pipes out there. You just always have stickies out. The important thing about, even if you're a trap up, it's good to have, even if you have eight stickies out, it's good to have the sticky launcher out. Because no one expects, like, the demo man to be, you know, have a sticky launcher out if he has a trap out. So just for making your trap more effective, it's better to have this out. Like, if you're pill spamming, like, I'm going to look for a trap, like, as a player, so, you know. You don't want to be going into these guys. Because they're like at a very good position, so you want to be backing out and damaging them. If they aggress on you, you get free damage. Uh, but pushing into them, like if you if both soldiers jump, you would have got mauled instantly. So knowing that, recognizing that their soldier was already out and there was enough people behind them that it was a big threat, you should have just pressured them from afar. That and I think they had a pretty significant health advantage since your medic had just gone there, I believe. And if you're going to push into a team, you need the medic on you, and I don't think he was quite there with you. Jumping up top here is a mistake. You... I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like they could have dealt with that very easily if they just split their players better and killed you since you jumped up top. But maybe it was a good play. I don't really know. You decide for yourself. Oh, maybe you're switching pipes to, to uh, reset your charge meter. If so, then good. If not, then bad. Don't do that. Those can't hit, dude. Well, you're better off just charging a stick and putting 40 damage on them. Like, that can open something up. If uh, On that low ground, if they're playing far back on the, on the left, or maybe Romer gets in pretty easily. Like, if you're playing around, like, the ammo game or their positioning game, like, that pack is very easy to just kind of push in. Like, a scout chilling cafe, you hit a sticky, roamer jumps in, scout pushes, easy kill on someone that is overextended at that point. Um, I feel like this, a delay was appropriate for the deer push, but this much, not so much. Like, it'd be nice to have stickies on every door here. There's a soldier on your right that you saw. You need to jump out. Too high. This is bad. I think it was reasonable to spend the extra quarter second just making sure you had a 48 sticky. Okay, you don't. You just stop going into people, dude. <laughs> like, it's so random. Like, you crush them, but, like, they really had no excuse not killing you. Like, you extended very far from your medic, and your movement was pretty straight line, and you're jumping at that too, so, like, it really just leads to you getting killed against a good team. Like, granted, they didn't have scouts, so getting close to them and jumping isn't as bad, but, like, the responsible player would have just dropped down and killed you instead of staying up top. Like, you got separated from your mech there for a second and uh, in general I feel like you could have done the damage you wanted to do from range pretty easily there. This is a good decision. I think you can air strafe um, or you can drop from the highest ledge in that lobby without taking fall damage so you didn't need to land on the ramp again. These are good stickies. I feel like I'd be more worried about 
your crosshair placement there, because I think you can watch battlements, your battlement stickies, while having your crosshair very close to the shard door. Um, and I would count on my team, like, since your team's already coming, someone's going to be able to spot the lower door. Uh, and just for the sake of having your crosshair closer to the biggest threat to you, the, the shower door, I probably had to place it more clo closer to there. I don't know what you guys are doing. Like, I feel like your positioning is... I wouldn't do this as demo. Um, this is a weird push. But yeah, like, I, I would rather you always be visible to the enemy team as demo, because, like, you deny a lot of opportunity for like uh, flank plays and stuff by being pretty aggressive all the time. Like not aggressive, but like visible and spamming them. If that makes sense. This is probably fine pill spam. And again, like you're walking a straight line. Like there's no reason to take that damage. Like they could just give you damage for no reason. Like you don't gain anything out of it. Like that soldier could have easily directed you. Dropped on you if he really wanted to, maybe gotten a kill, but unlikely since you had the oobs, but it's still no reason to take the damage. So you almost threw there because you didn't uh sticky. Sticky good. Yeah, this rollout is not good. Um, you shouldn't be getting here this low. Hit the soldier that's going under. Should have been shooting him a bit earlier. Could have probably gotten the kill. Two stickies on him. It'd be easy chase for a scout. Pipe's not appropriate here, but you're kind of in a desperate situation. I feel like your team's dead anyway, so you might as well flank through choke. That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you could have flanked through choke and maybe fought the guy on the point. Or... Like, if they were not bad, you know? Because they definitely saw the pills coming in from there. Like, they could have very easily put together that you went into cafe. Um, so, I would have expected a player to be shooting you as you came out. But, nevertheless, it didn't really matter. Like, both of them were pretty bad choices. Well, not bad choices, but bad circumstances. See here, I think you should be putting damage out, because, like, I, th I think the, tra the window, the trap near the window is pretty good, but the shutter one, like, no one's going to get killed by that. Any, like, it's like the one, like, oh, there's definitely a trap there, guys, you know? Everyone knows that one now. Well, even before. So yeah, this is good. Now you need to turn around. It doesn't matter if he flanks you again, you don't really have a choice. But yeah, it was good putting damage on that guy and putting him out of the fight. Yeah, it was the only way you were going to win. If if someone else was there, you definitely would have won. Probably defended that, I mean. I feel like you can be wall sticking and take no fall damage there and you'll probably be a bit quicker. I don't know, your health is just so bad. I, like, I don't think this is the way you're supposed to roll out, but I don't really know. Putting damage on that okay, no, no, no. As soon as you hit that guy, like you knock him in the air, it's not your job to kill him anymore. Your scout should be able to pick him up. Like you have to be confident in your players so you can use your ammo effectively. And there's three people over there that can basically get hit by the same sticky. So putting damage on those guys is gonna help you win the fight later. You wouldn't have a, as tough of a time as you are having now. This is a good play. Don't, no, you need to delay, they're not quite here yet. You should have delayed two seconds. Again, you're jumping a lot and like, that's gonna get you hit by people with better aim. But it didn't really matter there. But yeah, like, you can understand that Okay, first of all, against good players, you want to delay even longer. Um, 
because I would assume they they're gonna delay so that if you are there you fire as you expect them to come out so they can you know dodge it if they if it happens so knowing that like it's pretty obvious you were there like everyone like good like you were shooting at them so they knew you were the potential to flank right I'll just keep going on this for a bit so obviously you miss up the timing of it there it's actually a lot longer than most people think that area um, but against a good team it is reasonable to delay even further so the fact that you're shooting that early is not very good, you know? Because I don't think they delayed. Anyway, uh, this is looking good. Sucks that everyone's like 2 HP, but what can you do? You should take the pack here, there's no reason to not take the pack. Your scout can be getting buffed up. Like, I think that was pushable, but even if your team didn't agree, there's no reason not to take the pack, because it'll put more health on your team overall. You always want to be cycling packs, there's just no reason not to. Okay, yeah, good. Keep damaging the people trying to get in. Now you need to consider leaving, or watch the scout on the right. Oh, you have a crits. I think the scout on the right was more important, and I don't even think you needed to crits there. I feel like they- nice pipe. I feel like they were kind of fucked. That second- the pipe on the scout when he was moving to the right was good. It had potential to hit, the other one didn't. Uh, with pipes, you want to be- more concerned about blocking area than like going for a kill. So like, I feel like the right one, if he moved all the way to the right and jumped, that would have hit. But you, you're like flicking, right? Whereas in that situation, you want to be lining up their escape or their potential movements and then shooting as they change to the direction you're predicting. If that makes sense, rather than flicking. Uh, your pipes will get a lot more consistent that way, at that range at least. Like at close range you just kinda wanna flick everywhere. And, you know, air shots, especially the one you hit earlier. The, the flicking, flicking is appropriate because you just flick down. But, like, to hit those medium range pipes, and I think I'm very good at that. Uh, compared to most demos. You know, you gotta really consider their likely movements and like kinda have the shot lined up already and I, I feel like controlling for his streams there like the extreme right and the extreme left is most appropriate with pipes because if they go somewhere in the middle then they're gonna die anyway so that's a pretty easy shot but like, I don't know, it's just me being picky about pipes I, I have pet peeves about people that pipe Stupidly. That's a good push. I don't know, it was like safe. Um, I feel like you could have killed that guy. Okay, so... From just hearing the shooting, like, they're closer than what you were fr your first diggy was. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of talking going on Mumble, but that scout exchange was very, very close, so you should have been aiming your first stick a bit closer. Other than that, everything fine there. But I yeah, should have fought him a bit earlier. He jumped very early, and putting sticks behind him either cuts him off or cuts his re or, like uh, teammates off. Or potentially damages them, and both of those are good things. I feel like, yeah, this is a good rotate. Now you need to back. Oh god, that Uber dude. Oh my god. But yeah, you should have. Had you not Ubered there, I think rotating would have been good. Because they, if they meet you there or send one person into you, it's like the easy. Oh my god, that guy. Anyway, it's like the easiest kill. You can't peek this again. A good player would have killed you. Also, like at the beginning of that, you 
much. I'm like, I would never back up there as a soldier. Because the worst case, he hits me with a sticky. Right? In the worst case, that soldier gets hit with a sticky that you put in front of you, and then he just backs up. But, you know, if you put a sticky behind him, then he can pretty much kill you if he hits his ship properly. Which he could have, he just missed. So, like, when you have uh, a number advantage and player advantage as an enemy player, like, you're not really afraid of stickies behind you, you're gonna be going forward. Because you can always just back up after you get hit by one. And then if you push him after he's backing up, then he can just go forward. Like, it's a lot better than going back and then forward. Because if he goes back, you, you miss, right? Or you hit him, and then he can never push you. This is bad. You guys need to buff the heavy. Yeah, that was good. Oh my god, dude. That heavy. Good pipe. I feel like if you shot one there, though. Like, I don't know. I feel like valuing pipes and just hitting, like, the one pipe or the two pipe, like, after you really get a feel for their movement, is a lot better than just spamming in like that. Because I mean, sure, they have the potential to go pretty much anywhere if you're just spamming all four pipes, but like, if you don't hit those, the fight becomes a lot harder suddenly. So, right here, I feel like you should have gone for the cafe pack since you're reloading anyway. That guy gives you a free kill. Now, you want to start looking to kill the medic. Like, I would expect them to be losing this. Those pipes are very unnecessary. That changed the fight entire- What the fuck is that medic real? No fucking way. No way, dude. He just walked on three sticks. Holy shit. Anyway, um... Yeah, those pipes are bad. Because you weren't winning the fight enough that you could afford missing those pipes. And you didn't really aim them. Like, you didn't, like shoot them at any predictable moment. You just kind of fired where they maybe could be if they didn't have an objective with their aggression. Like if they if they were just all was spamming, maybe you'd hit them with those pipes, but like they weren't, weren't like optimal pipes, I would say. And yeah, the reason I mentioned you could go for the cafe pack is just because you had the potential to reload. And since that soldier pick was so easy, you should have been looking to put damage on the medic because I want him dead. I'd want him dead, you know? Like, that soldier pick was so free that I would expect to win the mid-fight pretty easily and putting damage on the med demo would be pretty ideal. I still can't believe that fucking medic, dude. Like, that's like the heroist play I've ever seen. Like, I can't even comprehend. He must have been, like, blind find it by some kind of light or something. Shining through the window, like, there's no fucking way. Got something in his eye. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> Just walked over three fucking- the demo did it too, like, holy fuck, dude. Alright, you probably wanna go top right here. Yeah, that's a good choice. But being here earlier, like, you just kind of spend time just wandering in the map. I know it's a pretty pretty map, but like... I don't know, man. Probably be good to be pressuring a bit. You don't want to be cleaning up his demo. Well, you don't want to be cleaning up as anyone. Except for Soldier. Like, game super optimized. Soldier probably clean up is the best. But game not optimized, you don't really want to be cleaning up as anyone, probably. At the very least, I think staying on the, on the top right would have been better, because you could just keep working your high advantage, uh, you know, and if you don't hit all your shots, which would have won you the round, if you don't hit them all, then you very easily just back up, and you can still... Well, it didn't really matter, I guess, because they were down so many, but...
So yeah, this scout build's really bad, and you want a sticky trap available, or like around everywhere pretty much here. Because it's very lucrative to push in here with a few people. And by here, I mean lobby in general. And you have a lot of chances to get picks. There's no way you should be pushing without a buff. Like, your team should have buffed you is what I'm saying. Like, this is a disgusting push. I don't care how dire it was. Uh, it's very bad to... Um, do a scale build and not finish the uber off with some buffs. Ooh, this is really long. I kind of want to cut it short. I'll do one more round. Honestly, I feel like taking the pack and then do a 48 is much more appropriate if you're gonna go deer. Like you do like a sticky jump into the pack and then a 48 and you land like maybe on that shack above you on the second level. That's a good angle to spam from, but like what you did there, this, this does nothing. It's a good thing, but you dodged into your medics, so you died there, so he had a super bomb, like the best bomb in the world. Um, but, like, not much you can do there. Like, I feel like that rollout is just bad. Like, very bad. Okay, so I'm gonna be another round since that one was, <laughs> this one's looking pretty, pretty quick. Uh, Pyro and Sniper. Sniper's okay on this lap, but Pyro's god-awful. Obviously you didn't want to hit that wall with your first sticky. I don't know, just be a bit more careful. Like, that maybe could have changed things. I mean, very, very unlikely, but if the magic set of circumstances happened, that could have been pretty significant. So at least you're not taking fall damage there anymore. That's good. So yeah, here, and then like another one, if you wanted. Or even this is fine. See, he's nothing. Like, he has zero health. Now you want to be putting damage on... Okay, be more careful, because he's free, so you shouldn't be missing that. Also, your medic kited away from him, so that guy was no longer a threat, so you probably should have done the same. And even, like, your team sucked there, like, they really should have killed him. Um, but as soon as you hit him with a second stick in the air, you should have just ignored him. He's not your job anymore. This is bad. Like, you want to get in as soon as possible, and not damaging them here is preventing- Okay, they sh You shouldn't have used their- I mean, not your fault, but like, they gave you an uber, and you just gave them one back. But yeah, you want to get in as clean as possible, and get there as quickly as possible, and shooting stickies to force them out is a lot better. Okay, again, you do these jumps where you take fall damage, and it really pisses me off. Um, like, it's, it's not really that significant, but not having health is really bad. Like, you could do that same jump, like, with a 48 jump, and not take fall damage, and you have, like, an extra 50 health. Like, from a medic's perspective, like, what you're doing is like kind of sacrilegious, you know? It's it's kind of gross. I don't think that's a very good trap. I think at least one. I think the first person to push is either right or left. And no one's gonna transfer lobbies without like someone being able to spot that. Like, someone's always going to come in on the right before anyone on the left has a chance to make it there. So I think that's a pretty poor trap. And no doubt someone's already seen it. Like, 100% that guy that saw you there has definitely seen it. Like, I know that's a bait trap with another one on the wall on the other side. Like, it's not happening. Okay, 
I don't know why you're down here. This is not your job. You should be actively peeking from like uh, one side trying to get the sniper. But this is not your job. Your roamer or scout should be doing this. Probably roamer. You don't want to ever do that. If you pipe spam the door, you stickied. It's kind of advertising that no one wants to be there anyway, and <clears throat> it's also advertising that you might have stickies out, so. Also, you spent the entire time saying like 10 stickies out there, so people could have heard it, so I'm not sure if the 8 trap is very viable. But yeah. You're losing a lot of presence in lobby by watching dungeon. Okay, so there was potential to push there because a they had either they had a sniper or their scout was resubbing, or the sniper was resubbing to go scout. So you could have pushed there, and if you had taken crit heals from a scout, probably solo demo over with a scout maybe. Um, you could have had a pretty good fight there. I'd say that's a 60-40 fight. Uh, don't know if you want to take that uh, those odds, but hitting this guy with taking his crit heals away and exchanging ubers is pretty strong. I feel like getting back into the fight is actually kind of slow though for your respawner, so maybe not the best idea. Your spy goes in. Oh, wait, your other guy died? That's weird. Where's your spy? It's like the. Oh my god. I'm mad. I don't want to watch this. Go, spy, go. Get him. Oh, is he AFK? Like, is he actually just dead ring AFK? Or Cloven Dagger? Like, there's no way he hasn't gone. What is he doing? He was spy forever! Dude, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but it's spooky. But go in! Why are you not sending your spy in? Oh my god. No, you have double spy? Fucking gross. Are they using their revolvers at least? Fuck, dude! You don't run Double Spy and not like only revolver. Like that's the that's the good part about Double Spy. I would have probably kept pushing there. Like you, like not knowing their health, you hit the scout with a significant chunk of damage. I don't know why you're not kicking lobby. Like, you're gonna get 90 and you're not gonna be anywhere near pushing. Okay, well maybe you are, but your med's bad and he's not buffing people, so this push fails. Also, their med sucks too, so maybe it doesn't. Oh, they have a pretty good oops. No, their med didn't buff either, so it didn't matter. Rest in peace, bad meds around the world. That was a good pipe. That was a very good pipe. That's the one where, like, you saw him jump, so... Like, he's just gonna land. So you knew that was, like, guaranteed. I don't know if that was, like, you actually took your time to aim that or as a flick, but, like, that one was good. Okay, you're done. Oh, okay. This is different. Again, you should do a wall stick. Because uh, you, you know the battlements has the little wooden plank blocking the door. You can hit it from an angle such that the sticky sticks out. Like, you know how every wall is a bit bigger than it seems? And then that wall stick would probably be really good. Maybe you even make it through the window if you wanted to. That'd be stylish. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, I wouldn't have peeked this 
another time there. Like, there's no way other people aren't going to be there. Like, I already didn't expect the soldier there to shoot you, but, I don't know, doesn't matter. Wait, did I? Did I say I was not doing any more? Fuck me. Okay, the end of this round is the end of the demo review. Uh, yeah. Keep fighting. That's perfect. You should not stop doing that. By the time their uber is over or even doing anything, you would have been able to reload. Like, 100%. Uh, so firing more there would have been great. Like, you don't want to kill that guy, you just want to prevent him from doing anything. As long as possible. That was good. Stick more stickies on that door. On the ground, so you can't get killed there. Now you stop looking behind you. You want you don't not look at your sticky trap. Okay, so if you know that there's scouts behind you, right? You just back up while looking at your sticky trap. Like your sensitivity's not s low, so I don't think you have an excuse to do that kind of shit. This sucks. All right, so you lose this round pretty much. Unless they're nice guys. Uh, I don't know if that guy was dead though. Maybe it doesn't matter, but basically lose. That was a good pipe. See, the one that you shot right at him as he pushes, as he got popped up by your sticky, that's great. Anyway, um, so you need to work on the rollouts for this map. You don't watch doors enough. You're not really creating a presence for your team. Into last, I think you should be spamming more. Uh, your pipes are a little bit iffy. You should really take a, a, some time to consider like aiming mechanics for pipes. Because uh, there are times where you can pretty much hit some guaranteed pipes that you're missing, I would say. At least from my experience. And, uh, yeah, you get really tunneled when you want to hurt people. Like, you'll extend from your medic and just have this really bad straight line jumpy movement, which you'll get crushed by a lot of people. And you do that thing where you turn around and plus forward instead of plus backing. Like, if you're you want to plus back facing your enemies instead of turning around and plus forwarding away from them. Uh, that's, that's about it, I guess. And yeah, your sticky traps are really weird. You need to not have pipes out most of the time because they're they'll they'll betray your sticky traps a lot, especially if you spam them a lot.